Well, there's a small change in the works at one intersection in German Village, but it's creating big worries for those who live in the neighborhood. City officials plan to remove the traffic light at Thurman and Jaeger roads and turn it into a four way stop. And according to city officials, that intersection does not meet the federal requirements for a traffic light anymore. But one neighbor tells us this could be a dangerous change for him. NBC4's Danielle Grossman has more. This small intersection has seen tremendous change over the years from new businesses to many new residents and of course even changes in the sidewalks. Now it's going to see a major change in the intersection itself. Some say it could be good, but others say it's simply a bad idea. Our vision, sight, we often take it for granted. Crossing the street, going for a jog, driving from point A to point B, it's second nature. But for Ray Charles Harrison, Hold on. His daily commute's a little more complicated than most. I've lived here since uh, 1974. Ray went blind 1986, and ever since then, he's used his memory to navigate through life. But over the years, things have changed. There, they took out the curbs completely, and there, that's, they do just a little slight indentation as to where the sidewalk ends and the street starts. And now another major roadblock for Ray, who walks to and from this local cafe for his daily meals. I'm really, really concerned now with them taking out the light. Dee Davenport heard the news, and her first thought, aside from the potential traffic concerns, was her friend Ray. I'm really worried that it will make it more difficult for him to cross the street. And according to Ray, it will. Well, they're not going to stop long enough for me to hear them to know it's safe for me to cross. Ray struggles as it is, and he says some small changes could help yeah, him um, tremendously. So, I worked last so we week, asked I traffic management division now, administrator Ronaldo Stargill what they today. could yesterday, do to help so. Ray with his daily commute. And if it is a special situation, we'd be happy to have someone from our engineering team work with him directly um, to, you know, work with him to come to a uh, safer solution, whether it be as it is now, or if there's something we can tweak or do a little differently to suit his needs. But for now, until something is done, take your chances and. Hopefully, uh, they won't run you over. Now, no matter the changes in the roadways or even the intersection, Ray says he will continue to visit his favorite restaurant for his daily meals. Now, as for the intersection, we're going to keep you posted over the next three months to let you know if it does become a four way stop. Local for you in German Village, Danielle Grossman, NBC4. All right, Danielle, thank you. For more information on the changes at that intersection there in German Village, we've got an interview. More on that interview with the city of Columbus, go to our website, NBC4i.com.